right guys so basically um i've just downloaded the the new drivers for my steam deck um sorry let me just try and get this at a better angle i'm gonna move my tripod slightly um i've just uh, updated my drivers for my steam deck and i'm just currently uh trying to get a few more things on my steam deck so basically drivers have been updated i'm also updating some games in the background uh let me just check to see if steam is there so yeah so call of duty is just transferring some files tom clancy's uh, rainbow six uh, has finished and this one is just transferring some uh it's transferring from my laptop to the steam deck so this won't take too long and all it's transferring basically i think it's just like files and stuff because i think uh, i also updated the game on my laptop so while this is uh doing its thing um right so i told you guys i updated uh, the drivers there's a few in here saying unknown devices and all this stuff i don't know why it's saying that um it does say amd audio device and all this stuff but it is working you see the xbox 360 uh is still there the gamepad thingy uh it's it's saying xbox 360 uh controller for windows right so that's all done that's finished and you can see here it says array uh all your drivers are up to date uh so if i wanted to do another scan i just press on this one it's gonna do a quick scan just to make sure everything's fine uh so i think the drivers that i have installed are actually modded drivers so they're actually modified uh because i couldn't really tell so in this one this is called spexy s p e c c y it says windows 11 pro 64 bit amd ryzen it says ram is 12 gigabytes uh, it says motherboard is valve jupiter uh graphics it's it's showing the other it's showing the other monitors the acer monitor and the aoc monitor and it's showing uh 4096 megabytes rt radeon uh amd radeon i actually have to write this down guys so sorry i'm just having having to write this down because obviously i'm gonna forget what this is uh so it's saying uh, 4096 megabytes megabytes and it's in RT so that's ATI uh, ATI RT AMD and then it's in Radeon and it says RX it says 670 and then it says graphics and then in brackets it's got ati rt so i'm i'm a bit like wondering i'm a bit confused because you know you know the thing is it does say storage is 953 gigabyte but i did tell you guys and it's sub rent so mine's a one terabyte ssd uh micro sd card saying uh 236 gigabytes but it's, mine's a 256 optical drive no optical drive detected audio it says uh, AMD streaming audio device so it's interesting because before it never used to show the the graphics you know it never showed the graphics thing so it's interesting that it actually says uh, 670 so I, I got all of this stuff if you guys are wondering how did I get this uh, well you know I was just looking at uh, YouTube and I was wondering about the graphics for Steam Deck like I told you guys, I've, I've been wanting to upgrade my drivers for my Steam Deck for quite a while. And I didn't know what drivers were available. So that's why I started looking on YouTube. And then obviously I found these people talking about these drivers. But you see, I've known about these drivers for quite a while. And uh, I never really took it seriously, you know. So I'm just looking at this thing here. It says... Uh, trying to find out what is going on uh let me increase so this if you don't know what this is this is a uh, ds4 windows right it's got too many controls on this 
I bought DS3 controller support. I don't know what DS3 is. I had put Joy-Con Switch Pro, but DualSense controller support, DS4 controller support, DS3. I think these these are the same as uh, what you call this DualSense. Right, so I've taken off Joy-Con and Switch Pro because I don't have those. Um, I don't know what those are anyway. Um, right, so that's all done. It's actually saying X, X360 DS4 dynamic. X input says one and then tick active. Uh, so I think that's just my, um, should just be uh, this one, sorry. Let's see this default. You know what, I wanna create a new one. I'm gonna create a new one. It's the Xbox 360. Yeah, I'll just create the Xbox 360 one and I'm gonna save it. It wants me to actually type this in. I'll just I'll just put in Xbox uh, X box and uh, just save it. Uh, it says please enter a valid Playing name. From I thought that was a valid name. That's not valid. Xbox. Wow. Okay. Xbox <laughs> 360. How about this one? Okay, so it's 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 accepted that profile Xbox 360. Uh, the next one I want to do is uh, the oh wait wait a minute. So this has got precision high camera, uh, high camera, right? So this is the one I actually wanted. I'm gonna do another one. I'm gonna type in X X B uh, because that's the one I actually wanted. Uh, X B. And then I'm gonna make another one, and I'm gonna make one for Xbox uh, DualShock 4 with high precision camera. Uh, this is DualShock, and then I'm going to type in here D S D S. Where's S? D S four. Oh wow! I should put a lot of DSs in there. Let me take out the others. Uh, I need to put the S in there, DS4, and then save it. Nice one. Right, there's there's a couple in here, but I think if I click on one of these, I'll take this one out. I don't want this one. Xbox, remove that one. Uh, the Xbox 360, that's the normal one, isn't it? Uh, and I think DualShock and then DS uh, thingy, XB, then XB360. I think this, these other ones, I don't really need them, but the Counter-Strike one, I'm not really going to touch because I might need that one later. You know, this is weird, it's saying dual sense, then it says DS4. I think what's going on, uh, I'll just show you the gamepad right now. Uh, this is what's happening to my dual sense controller. So it is actually connected to the hub that's connected to the Steam Deck, and it's got two controllers on this. My take on this is uh, the dual sense, um, uh, program that I bought from Steam is actually active and I think that's the main reason why I think that's the main reason why this is uh, showing up like that right uh, let me put the volume down on this one because if it's if it's like this and not showing anything it's gonna go off you know uh, so I don't know let me let me tap on one of the games and then at least if, uh, wait, this thing looks new. It's a new game. Anyway, I'll, you know what I'm thinking? Let me, let me play one of my channels because I've got one of mine and I'll just, uh, at least if that's playing in the background, then it's not a big issue, is it? Uh, because, uh, if it's my stuff, then it's not a problem. Right. So. I'm going to do this and uh, get one of my channels up. I think this is okay. I guess I've got, uh, right. Just gonna have to play one of my things here. It takes a while to find. Ah, there we go, found it. Right, I'm, I'm just playing my channels because it, it'll be easier. I won't get a, have an issue, you know, right. Okay, and then I'll, I'll continue talking about what I'm doing here, guys. So basically, I've removed the driver. 
the drivers that I had previously um, that I had on this right so so these are my channels so it's not a problem I'll just put this like back here it is reflecting a bit isn't it right uh, so basically um, right I think I think it's just because I've got two programs running in the background that's why it's saying uh, it's got two it's got dual sense and it's got DS4 so I'm just thinking that's the reason why that's going on right right uh, so this is Omen Gaming Hub I just want to go to the optimizer and I do a quick one here okay so the booster's on I'm gonna look at the cleaner I'm gonna scan it's just a quick scan with this one I actually paid for uh, I paid for CC cleaner so I'm gonna open up CC cleaner as well uh, just to see if there's any like issues that need addressing because I paid for this one it's just gonna be easier you know to scan the PC uh, this is the paid version you know so what, what I mean is different from free because obviously if you get the free version you're not gonna get um, like for example I can update my drivers using uh, CC cleaner you know if I've got any issues uh, let's say it says uh, drivers to update so audio Bluetooth and connectivity so how do I just do this without uh, without wasting time so okay so how do I no this is weird uh, isn't it supposed to do something what am I supposed to do am I supposed to click on this update okay so I clicked on update so it's updating that driver it's saying real tech so because when I went into con control panel it was it did say there were some drivers that aren't working properly so you know I'm just taking it that uh, like I said if you pay for CC cleaner you get it for like a year membership it's like a subscription so for a year uh, you can use this so it says installing and uh, I can update my drivers I can go into the registry in here I can run this thing and if there's any errors in here like scan for issues it will scan for any problems on the steam deck and then it will fix those it says one driver was successfully updated then you just click on review selected issues do you want to back up registry before making changes yes save it and then it says fix all selected issues and it's done you see so if there were any problems in there then uh you know it would uh, show me right so the next one is saying is audio so i'm gonna click on audio device and click on it to update the audio device driver and then i can also check in control panel while this is doing its thing and see if um okay so this is running in the background right so am i doing some gaming on this yes i'm i'm i'm, I'm hoping to do a bit of gaming today on the steam deck uh the steam deck itself is actually see it's not yet finished so it's still updating call of duty so as soon as call of duty is fully updated then obviously yes won't be an issue will it oh it says uh issues detected all right so right so i just avoided that one so i think it's saying there's an issue with it uh but you know the thing is i did already uh update it using the driver booster the problem is i can't use the driver booster while this is updating the game because if i try to do that it's gonna disrupt the update but i do want to test some games i think when i'm testing games this is combat master this won't take long uh, Call of Duty just says uh, it's done 18. Right, let's see what's going on here. This, you heard that noise. I'm going to find out. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Did it disconnect? Oh, no, it's connected actually. All right, so I'm going to move this stuff to the other screen. You know, when, I'm, when I want to play games on my Steam Deck, I move everything. Uh, I told you I use two screens, yes? Ah, it wants to restart the PC. Ah, that's going to be a problem. Alright. Okay, fine. It wants to restart the computer. 
let me just uh, close down some things let me pause this you need to pause it first please pause uh, close this one uh, let's see I need to close everything that's in the background device manager what's this one oh yeah the stuff right restart PC it needs to restart uh, then obviously once it restarts because it's uh, updated some drivers right so I've changed the graphics drivers using a modded driver um, I did some research on the driver itself, uh, but the driver that I found on the internet is not the same driver like this one, like the one I've got here. The one I found on the internet, it actually states uh, the RX 6700, uh, 6700, so it's like two zeros, whereas this one is a 670. So I don't know if it's the same uh, same thing like uh, if they just did um because i know with these drivers sometimes they just do um updates on them and then they change the name slightly isn't it so it's not it's not a real update it's just uh right let me just type this in right i'm using an external keyboard so my keyboard and my mouse is uh, is all connected to the hub on the steam deck and uh, what I'm using on my laptop right now is this. Um, I'll just show you guys. I'm using now this. Connected to Geotrans. I'm using this on my laptop right now. So it's a um, touchpad, keyboard, uh, control, sound, media, all that stuff. FM keys, everything's on this. Right. So that's what I'm doing on my laptop. Not that the laptop itself doesn't have a keyboard and a mouse. It's got all that stuff. It's just obviously it's not near me. Uh, I'm going to restart Steam and uh let's see what else did i have in the background because i was you see i was trying to get stuff going like start it up so i think omen i'll need to get omen back up and running uh i do like using mobility center as well so i'm gonna move i told you guys i don't like having anything on this screen so i'm moving everything to the other screen so basically what i do is i'm using right this is gonna it's starting the update again that's fine it's going to call a duty this time so it seems like it's skipping over combat master for whatever reason right so you know it's odd okay so i think the program some programs are gonna start up and all that so it says it's transferring right so it's connected to my laptop it's now transferring files i think it'll be much faster anyway because i don't have combat master on my laptop I removed it. I just, just didn't like the game, so I removed it. So, the you see, it's transferring files from the laptop. So it's on. You see, it's, it actually says from device MSI, right? So, um, let me just okay. That's Spotify stuff. Let me actually, if it lets me, okay. So I think what it's doing is still uh, starting up some programs. So it's gonna be a bit of a pain. Uh, well, not really a pain. It's just it's starting up uh, programs that I would have normally used, you know, like things like MSI. You see, all these things. You know, you know the thing is, I, I need to just turn this off because basically I had this uh, running in the background. You know, right. So this is the phone link. So this is normally connected to either the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold Five or the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold Four and uh yeah so let me just if i can i don't know what's up now right something's happened to the file explorer i don't know if it's crashed or something i think you guys can notice the screen oh it's back up now <laughs> it looked like it had crashed i was like what's going on i can't move nothing right it's, it's gonna take a while to do whatever it wants to do uh you see it's it's like a pain is it, it doesn't want me to do anything right so while it's doing whatever it does i'll be just starting up some programs uh the first one i started up is mobility center because i like to control the display and sound uh the next one i got was something to do with um uh with the screen uh this is uh Another one I use for overclocking the uh, the Steam Deck. Um, let me see what other programs do I have in here. 
I mean, it's a, it's a slow process. There's, there's nothing I can do, basically. Right, so the other thing I want to do that I want to check on right now is I want to find out if I can actually update the drivers that I've got. The thing is, I don't know if I'm able to do it. That's the thing. So this is one of the programs that's starting up. This is a program I use for overclocking the Steam Deck. Well, not really overclocking, just uh, making it... It's, it's a power plant that I use. So if it lets me, I just need to move it to the other screen. Like so. This is a control panel. This is AMD control panel. And I can actually change the voltage uh, from 10 watts to 35 watts to 50 watts. I mostly use 35 watts. But sometimes I'll actually push it to 50. Right. So the other ones I want. Uh, let's see. Right. They were taking a while to start up. Right, so DS for Windows is up and running. So everything you don't see on the screen, I will show you where I'm putting it. It's just, um, I want to get things organized first. And then I'll show you guys where I've, I've put everything uh, that I'm using. So I know you're thinking, well, you can't see much uh, of what I'm doing. I know that, but um, I, I'm trying to make it smart, you know, like uniform. So when I do start playing games, it's just straightforward. And obviously I want Steam to remain on this, this picture. I mean on this display. Um, this is desktop one. So I'm actually, um, ex no, I'm duplicating uh, display one and two, which is Steam Deck and the Acer monitor. Whereas the gaming, uh, the, Ace, uh, the AO AOC gaming monitor is not uh, displaying Steam Deck. It's only I'm sharing. You understand what I mean? I'm extending the desktops. So that's why I need this desktop to be free so I can move programs around. I think I've done everything. I've got everything sorted. So let me just loosen this tripod and then I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Right, I need to loosen this as well. And there you go. So these are the programs that I use on my Steam Deck. So if I want a game, right, so I'll give you examples. So if you see on the mouse, I, it's too bright. You guys won't be able to see. The, the top one is Mobility Center. That's for sound because sometimes my Steam Deck, for some reason, will break off from the Bluetooth speaker. I use Echo Dot uh, Alexa. And then this one at the bottom is for screen resolution. That is for overclocking. The one down there is uh, AMD Control Panel. Let me try and use the mouse. You see, AMD control panel. I can go from 10 watts, 35 watts to 50 watts. The default profile is 10 watts. You need to keep it low, but the, the active profile or the new profile or active profile, you can set it to whatever you like. Uh, 50 watts is okay for gaming. Um, it, I don't know if it actually uses 50 watts because I know the adapter is only 45 watts uh, or something like that, but uh, you know. I just set it that way. Anyway, so this thing is for overclocking. It's not overclocking right now, but if I want to do it, I need to come to this screen. Right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swap this over again, guys. I'm going to move my... That's my laptop back there. I'm just looking at some stuff on Steam. Right, so if you guys can see up there, that's the other monitor. I don't know if I can use this monitor instead. It's just that maybe you guys have a better view. So you see there where it says clean memory. So I can actually clean the memory with that software, which I've just done. And then if I come back into this, it says minimum performance, balanced performance. I want maximum performance. And if possible, I will see if this has changed. It hasn't really done much. I think the problem is I've got two of them running. So I need to exit out of one. Right, let me try again. So I said, you see, maximum. You see what happened there? Everything went to 100%. I had two programs running, that's why it didn't change. You see it changed, it's 100%. It's now running on uh, maximum performance. You see what it's saying there, 3.5 giga, gigahertz. It's uh, on maximum. So everything there is, is, a, is a Steam Deck. Van Gogh Steam Deck, AMD Custom APU0405, and it's uh, running at 100%, and uh, co-parking is all unlocked. 
you see right so just showing you guys what i do on my steam deck when i play games all these programs are active i haven't actually clicked on the amd power control panel solely because i haven't started the game yet when i do start a game i could actually i want to do 35 watts so i don't know if i can zoom in and you guys will see that it's changed to 35 watts so that's what the steam deck is currently doing right now and it is running on high performance you see so i've got my power my power plan and this is running at, uh, and you see what the maximum uh, processor says 4000 so that's 4 gigahertz uh gpu i know it's saying 400 but this can actually go really high and see can go up to 2100 not that you see the problem is if i change it to 2100 then it will lose the profile so if i want to keep to the 35 watts it needs to stay on this remember i'm not yet playing a game so maybe that's why it's not going up but this is 4 gigahertz and if i wanted to and i'm packing of course is 4 if i want to i got 50 watts and there you go see it'll all change to 50. Uh, it's taking a while I'm wondering if it's realizing I want 50 on this. Right, let me change it back to 35. I'm just wondering. Oh, <laughs> something's happened to it. Right, uh, let me see if I can get that back. I have to be a bit careful because I've got two programs running. Uh, let me see if I can open up the other program. Right, the other program is this one. I, I think they're clashing. Because this is the other program. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is the other program that I use on Steam Deck. So I don't know if these are clashing. Okay. So this one is similar. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, mouse mode, volume, 40%. Uh, active cores, uh, TDPs. Uh, this one is actually saying 5,000 maximum. And then GPU clock, 400 megahertz. I don't know why it's saying 5,000. Uh, let's see what this stuff is. You know, I haven't used this in a while. Uh, let's see. Okay, what are these ones? Okay, maximum RTTS FPS 5. Then maximum voltage. What does this go? 85. No, I don't want to mess with that. Maximum. I want to do 45. No, let's do 40. 40. Wait, 40, oh, damn. I've got two of these. Uh, I shouldn't have two running at the same time. But the problem is if I shut this one down, it's hard to open up again. And the only way I can have this, um, the only way I can have this uh, running properly is if um, if I restart the Steam Deck. Actually, I don't, even, I don't even know if this actually works the way I want it to work. I just have this program installed, you know, you know what I mean? So... Um, oh wow, check this out, it's fluctuating, right, uh, maximum CPU, okay, it's, it's jumping around, I don't know why it's doing that, let's see, where, where did this one go to, right, so the maximum GPU clock is actually set to 3200, minimum DTP, I think this should be set to what, 10, then maximum, I want to set this to... 50 that's what i'm trying to get to uh i know what you're thinking what program is this this one i forget i forgot the name i don't know what i forgot the, i know the name but i forgot it like i told you i haven't been using this in a long time but this is the way i have it so maximum gpu clock 3200 megahertz minimum tdp this power 10 watts maximum uh, tdp 50 watts and then uh, RTSS FPS. If you know what that is, that's like um, it's something to do with um, uh, the server thingy, uh, River Tuna. You know that uh, MSI Afterburner. So it's like minimum, the maximum FPS. So I put it at uh, 50, uh, 40 FPS. And once you say that, then you can just uh, click there and it's gone. It goes back in. So that program is running anyway. But I'm still curious to see why the other one crashed. I think it's because I was trying to change it. So I'm going to try and run it again. So this is the one. 
So as you can see, this one hadn't changed. So I want to try and get this to 50 as well. Right now it's changed to 50. You see, you see that. Uh, so because I changed the other one. Right. So I've moved it again. Uh, there's going to be a lot of movement with this guys. So I've moved it to this screen. I know everything seems a bit wonky, but I keep everything on this screen. Like I told you solely because clutter free and this screen is using the 1080p. So it's easier for me to look at and it's right. It's in front of me so I can actually see what's working and what's not working on my laptop or my Steam Deck. You understand? Just in case so I don't want to damage my Steam Deck. And that is just reflecting the Steam Deck. Let me just put this back down on the Steam Deck so we can just get the show on the road as, as they call it. Right, so let me just try and get this at a good level and test out a game or two and see how the games perform since i haven't been playing this for quite a while so like oh they check it it's now it's not working properly so it's only showing the one um one um thingy right let's see if those games are finished uh installing uh still going through you know what uh this is gonna take too long let me just play a game i'm gonna play war robots i know it's not the game you guys want to see but it's my favorite game. I'll make another video. 